Notion has made a huge update to how their databases look and work and added team-based features if you happen to work on that database with somebody else. With this update, Notion moves the experience from simple databases to interactive dashboards. This is so significant that I will end up updating all of my databases to take advantage of this significant feature. So we'll cover this update under four categories. Dashboards, combining databases, better filters, and working with teams. The six types of databases from tables to gallery could be configured earlier with different views with a simple drop-down menu. Every time you need to go to a different view, you would first have to click on the view and select the view. Now, since the most frequently used views are laid out above, you can access those with a single click. The tabs can also be rearranged with a simple drag and drop. The view description is good enough to closely describe what you're looking at. So Notion provides you with the option to hide the database title itself. The familiar three dots near the new icon is now called the Unified Options menu. And within that, you will now see something called Layout and the option to unhide the title should you choose to. You can also see the different database types nicely arranged in a tile format with dynamic views to support. Some of the layouts used to be hidden inside of other places like properties, like the card preview and size, which have now been pulled out into a centralized view. One sneak addition that Notion has provided now is to allow you to add multiple select properties in one go from within the property as an option, instead of a cumbersome workaround earlier. So you also get your familiar properties, filters, sorts, and group buys that you used to find here earlier as well. If you do have a lot of views like what I have, you do just go back to a drop down from the right hand side, just like before. Again, another addition is the possibility to restore deleted properties, which can be very handy at times, especially when you're testing different formulae with different test columns. Combining databases is probably the most amazing feature that they have introduced. Basically, this involves the linked database feature, but then they gave it a massive upgrade to combine multiple databases and views right inside a single linked database block. So instead of having to use toggles or separate pages from each of the linked databases, they will seamlessly appear like a view separated by tabs. So I find this particularly useful when I'm looking for, say, my CRM database that houses sales databases, customer databases, all of them being individual and separate databases. The other neat feature is that I can also copy a specific view for the linked database from the source database. That is insanely powerful. So one of the key principles that I have adopted over the last few years is to work out linked databases and create views from them and keep the original databases hived off in a separate location. Now with this new feature, this principle has gotten even stronger. So earlier, if you wanted a specific view in another place, you would need to copy the entire linked database and then modify or delete views in that space. Now, it's pretty simple. You can just copy that view by a simple right click and copying the link to view instead of all the view, which can save you an enormous amount of time. When you create a new linked database view, you will be asked to select the source data for the view. That is not the linked data, but the original one. And if you leave it empty, you get an empty shell with a source to select. Now, one neat little trick could be that you push this whole thing into a template and you can quickly create embedded linked database within a database as well. So this combined database framework allows you to create different kinds of linked databases depending on the job role of that person. But the other nice thing is that they've introduced the ability to lock a view rather than the entire database. Now you might be wondering, how is this really useful? This is really useful when you're talking with other people about a problem in the organization and you want to refer to one single source of truth. So what this does 
is not allow you to create additional views without unlocking the view first. So filters and sorts are now completely redesigned into two categories, simple and advanced. So if you click on the filter on the right hand side near the new button, it gives you a new bar and you can add a filter. So this add option allows you to create a quick filter from within this view. However, when you do quick filter, you might encounter a small drawback and that is related to the date property. Here you can specifically mention only specific dates. You can't do this by relational properties like today, yesterday or next week. That you can do under advanced properties. So if you access the filter from the view option and look at the advanced properties, you can continue to do this in the earlier way. And this also includes filter groups. So now you have two options. One is to bunch a number of quick filters and these are all one step filters and they're separated by the AND operator. But then you can convert these into an advanced filter with or without filter groups if you like this approach better. And that can be done by a simple merge. In the process, you also have the option to create a brand new view for this filter. This is quite smart. So you can also do the same thing with sort pretty much in the same way from the view options menu. But I must say that sort is relatively simple and does not have the kind of detail that filter has. But at any given point, you can reset the filter or sort to clean it up on your desktop. And when you define the rules with filters, you will also notice that there is a button save for everyone that comes up as soon as you start creating the filter. So the problem came about when earlier another team member wanted to look at the data with another cut and arrange the filters around and everybody was forced to look at that particular view. So Notion provided this functionality so that you could look at it for yourself and then publish to a larger audience after you've tested it. Overall, I feel that the entire experience is richer and I'm excited to go back and make some of these changes. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos.